Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be playing Blue Red Tokens mm. in Standard. And this deck is gas. You make a ton of tokens with third path iconoclast. All of them get buffed by Balmor and you're just attacking for like 20 or, 20 or 30 damage. Uh, you get to protect your creatures with spell pierce, with shore up, and you've got a plethora, or even fading hope. And you've got a, so, so many one mana spells to trigger everything else that you've got. It's a truly, truly uh, mana, mana efficient deck. And so I want to see that in action as always. In the description, you've got a mana traders rental code, so that is cheaper, and Dragon Shield affiliation code. Without further ado, let's get into the games. Welcome to game one. I really like this hand actually. We would prefer, you know, having some kind of blue source on, on one, but that's fine. Let's lead on this. Now, it is possible that I, I don't just slam Balmo because I don't want to get it like, you know, go for the throated. Although in this case, I think I will because they're ahead already. I mean, not ahead already, but if I, if I pass and they pass back, they can just start drawing cards, which is not to my liking. And at least if I do this, yeah, they can draw and we're just kind of trading on resources here. So now I will just pass, nothing else to do. And let's see how this develops. They've got children. So I think, I think I'll make it disappear. I could fade in hope it, but then I'm... I'm putting myself in a pickle for later. So in this case, I will make a double token and I won't attack with either. Because <clears throat> I really don't want them to do like, you know, cut down one, you know, trespasser, attack down Sahili. I want Sahili to survive. Or like that, yeah, Cops Appraiser, activate attack. If I left one of them back, I would be prone to removal, which I do not want. So let's keep both of them to blocks. Uh, our graveyard doesn't really matter, so that's irrelevant. And yeah, like here, they could just do anything, like abrade, uh, yeah, abrade, cut the, cut, uh, go for the throat wouldn't work because they are artifacts. Right, so we, we, we managed to make Sahili stay alive. So let's take advantage of it. Uh, I don't want another Sahili. I would like, like, Iconoclast to go wide. Okay. I guess. Uh, we can kill this easily. We we might as well also wait for the crew. So I think we're just passing here. And let's see how they play this out. Okay, they've got something instant speed. Okay, I'll I will i will I'll pierce this. I'll I'll pierce this and see how the game develops. Because PS really loses value right now. Like, if they flashback it, they could pay immediately. So, I want to, like, cash it in. Yep, let's see them declared attacks. Yep, and now I will surge it. Killing an artifact. And let's see how it goes. They could make disappear it, but they would have to casualty one. Which means they're losing the whole battlefield. Oh, okay, okay, they, they, they can't find my own spell piece here. They could find my own Make Disappear. Oh, come on! Ooh! Actually, actually, uh, never mind. Um, Gleeful Demolition, I think I'll keep it for, for next turn. Now, I can't play this and follow it up with a spell anyways. I will play Fable. And I will just cry. Kind of wasting this cry, let's say. And then pass. Okay, I, I think we might be back. I think we might be back in this game. Um, this is not a, not, a, not a big issue. like Because this is what, what's going to really swing the game. Because I'm going to path into consider into demolition. And I'm literally going to discard zero to fable. Right. So this happens. I literally say no. I go iconoclast. I go consider. Removal would be great. 
Uh, shut up is, is okay. So we do this and we pass. And let's see how the game develops from this point. Oh, they ditched Bang Bust. Okay, so they want to get... Okay, okay, they had multiples. That makes sense. Oh, that's satisfying. Nice Grixis grind deck opponent. You are no match uh, for my iconoclasting power. Great. Great game. Boom. Second game. And I think we're keeping. I think we're keeping. Uh, this hand maybe leaves a bit to be desired, but it's in general it's fine. Okay, an island. So when I see an island, I'm slamming my turn to creature. As I've said, I don't always do this because I'm afraid of removal. And the way for this deck to actually expand properly is to have iconoclast backed up with like Sharp and, and, and spell, other spells. But against a blue deck, where I don't foresee any removal, slam in. Now, they had Fading Hope, but that's literally card disadvantage. They're impulsing in their main phase for whatever reason. Okay, I would expect that in bronze, not in plat, but I guess we'll take it. Um, and we're drawing that. So I'll play Balmo and pass the turn. Now, I could try to hold up, re uh, make disappear for Haughty Jin. So that's also something that's potentially worth considering. Let's see what they do. Um, do I? I think I just let it happen, honestly. Because, because Balmo is here mainly to help Iconoclast. And if they just want to, you know, card disadvantage themselves, I'm fine, really. I'm just going to play that again. Just play it very slow. Just play it slow. There is no rush. Right, just because you can protect it doesn't mean you should. And now let's see how they do, how they play it. So I am absolutely making it disappear. I've, since I've got the opportunity. Now they could spell Pierce back. They do not. Okay. So now I want to top deck Iconoclast. Uh, let's use one consider. Because we can still find like Fable and stuff. I think I will double consider just to find, uh, just to find that you know, payoff to resolve. Nah, I I really want to take advantage of this turn. Okay, that's too bad. That's too bad. But we'll take it. We will take it. And let's see what our opponent does. They could play another hot Jin, maybe like Tolarian Terra, but we attack in DS, so that's not an issue. Um, I kind of feel tempted to just cash this one in. I think I won't yet. From this point on, though, I will start using Mirax, which actually has been pretty good in this deck. It's been pretty solid. Now, you don't want too many because you've got those difficult costs like Balmo or Iconoclast. Tolarian Terra. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Make a token. Because if we get our token engine going, uh, they won't be able to... to keep up with, 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 with attacking anyways, because we can keep chomping. Well, let's see. If we attack with both, right? We can cast three spells, technically. Bumping it up to five, casting four spells, right? Because we can shower up, timely, surge, and spell piece our own spell. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I will surge that. Submit zero. I will pay for ward. And so it shall be dealt to. And I will just cycle my own timely reinforcements, a timely interference on my own Balmore, because if I did it on Tolera and Terra. Uh, now they're shoring up, and I'm piercing that. Now that shore up would be really strong. But now they're using Talarian Terra 
to this uh, small token, which actually it has trample, so I could I could push more damage through. Okay, let let's let's push just a tad more damage through. Okay. Uh, it's not the best situation for us, but I guess it's fine. And let's pass. We don't have much, admittedly. We do not have much. This is okay. This is worse. But a single Iconoclast carries. This is a solid top tech. I'm not going to play out the... the I'm not going to play out the land because I want to ditch it to Fable second chapter and we'll play... Mirex, we will use Mirex. They could attack in. I'm taking 10 if they do so. Easy. Yep, take 10. That's fine. Now they're passing, so Mirex. Now we do have Shorab down, but I'm not really afraid. Uh, they've got 7 mana, so I'm easy ditching spell peers. Draw 2. Oh, come on. Um, so this bounces this, but it requires 4 plus 2, so it's 2, 4 plus 2. I think I'd rather honestly play Fable. And what I can do is I can still attack with both, because with everything, because if they have a removal for the blocker, I can shore it up anyways. Or do we play extra safe? By the way, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 with Sharp. So we're short on damage anyways. And we could play ultra, ultra safe. I won't. Right, because they would need like a third Fading Hope. Um, they could though have... Okay, they could have shored up. Right, they could have had their own shore up. Let's see what they've got. Okay, they don't play anything. Right, it's an interesting game where we actually might be okay despite having drawn zero iconoclasts. So they're attacking with both. Let's see if they drew that third fading hope. They're looking at creatures, clearly. I th Oh, I think what they're thinking of is, yeah, they were leaving themselves dead. So, I don't want that to fade out, because otherwise... Also, it's kind of unfortunate, because it's also not enough to keep it alive. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I mean, keep it alive, trade, trade, I want to say trade, with Tolarian Terra. And they're dead. Nice. Right, so we had some, a bit of tokens, a bit of no tokens, but normal blue-red game. Um, yeah, I really like this deck. I really, really, really like the way it plays out. And uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all the necessary links in the description down below. Let me know in the comments what you think. Remember to sub and stuff like that. You know the drill. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please remember to hold my hand, pass the tent together, and I will indeed see you next time. Cheers.